In this video, I'll be covering many of Hutao's teams. Vaporize, Melt, Burgeon, Overload, and everything in between. I'll be going over the way you're supposed to play them, and the substitute characters you can use for each team. First, I'll start with her vape teams, which are the most commonly used teams. Firstly, let's start with one of her strongest teams, which is the double hydro wave team with Milan and Sinchu, and your fourth character being Zhongli. This is a really, really strong team, and you've probably seen someone use it before. Because of the hydro resonance with Yelan and Sinchu, and them having amazing synergy, it just makes this team really strong. And when you add Zhongli, which shreds defenses even more, this team just becomes really strong. All you have to do is use their skills and ults and switch to Hu Tao to deal big damage. The reason why Hydro Resonance is so good now is because Hydro Resonance increases your HP. So, you know, your characters are going to get a lot more HP. And if you know Hu Tao, the more HP she gets, the stronger she gets. So that's why when you add double, you know, Hydro characters in your team, Hu Tao gets a lot stronger. But if you don't have Zhongli or Yelan, there are a few things you can do. So instead of Zhongli, you can just use Zhongling, which makes a really strong team. So now you'll have Pyro Resonance and also a really good sub DPS, you know, Zhongling. But for example, if you didn't want to use Zhongling, you can have your fourth character be some support to help out with your team. So basically someone like Diona or, you know, Bennett, like even though, yes, Bennett does work against Hu Tao, he's just such a good character that even though you're losing out on, you know, Hu Tao's talent, it's still pretty good. The team will be working out just fine. But what about Yelan? If you don't have Yelan, you don't have that many options. Like, I guess you can go Kokomi, which might seem wrong because, again, Hu Tao, you know, doesn't want to be above 50% HP. But then Kokomi is such a great healer, you're gonna have that problem. It's the same thing, but what you can do is, instead of Zhongli, you can have Bennett, that's what I do. So you have Kokomi, uh, Sinchu, Hu Tao, and Bennett. And so even though you're not gonna be below 50% HP, you'll have Bennett's buff and the Hydro Resonance. And also, you know, you can give Kokomi Filling Tails, which may not be that amazing. But still, it gives Hu Tao some extra damage, which can all be, you know, good enough. Of course, having Yunan is better, but it still works out. Besides the double Hydro teams, you also have teams with just Sinchu. There are many teams you can make, for example, having an Anima character as your third character, like Kazuha or Sucrose, and your fourth one being a Pyro character that you can use to swirl the Pyro using your Anima character, and just make sure you don't swirl the Pyro, you know, with their alts, or else Huta won't be able to wave properly. So someone like Toma or Bennett, or even Zhang Ling, but Zhang Ling does steal some of Huta's waves more than often than Toma, which is something to keep in mind. Usually it's better to play with Toma, uh, but it's still fine, I guess. You know, Zhang Ling does a lot of damage, so it just depends on which, you know, characters you have available and using them instead. Now you can see how I did it in the background, and you can follow the same. It's a bit different for different uh, applicators, like for Bennett, it can be a bit different for Zhang Ling. Or you can just, you know, go with Zhang Li and just wear the Hydro, like having no Pyro characters and just Zhang Li. Uh, you can also have a team where you have Double Geo and Hu Tao and Sinchu. They also work pretty well if you have Albedo and Zhongli. You can use that team as well. That's all for the wave teams. Next up are the Mel teams. Uh, first, you have a team where you can run Double Cryo and Hu Tao and Sinchu. Uh, for the two Cryo characters, you can use Rosaria and Diona or Layla instead of Diona. I personally prefer Layla. So basically, now you'll have Cryo Resonance. And the thing is with Rosaria, Rosaria can give, you know, other characters more crit trait. So you can have Rosaria on a crit trait uh, build, I guess, and have Hu Tao gain a lot more crit rate from Rosaria. And so you can focus on Hu Tao's substats on crit damage more. So you can make Hu Tao even stronger. But of course, you don't have to have, uh, you know, Leila, Diana, and Rosaria. You can use other cry characters as well. Like, for example, Ganyu is a really good option. Or Kaya works fine here as well because then you have, you know, two cryo applicators. You just need to make sure you have good cryo application. There are also teams without cryo resonance. So just having one really good cryo applicator like Ganyu or Layla. Now, uh, Kaya, Rosaria, and Diona work too, but barely. Like, for example, Diona, her application is not that good. So sometimes you'll be vaping and sometimes you'll be melting. And for Rosaria and Kaya, though their application is fine, uh, their burst duration is not that big. It's only 8 seconds. Uh, so you have to use their ults right before switching to Huta. So if you have Layla, use her instead. But of course, if you don't, then you can use the other options as well. And of course, you're going to have Sinshu and also the fourth character being an Animo character if you have a sub DPS type cryo applicator. So basically Ganyu. Uh, or else, I think it's better if you go Zhongli or even Bennett. Bennett is really good also. Uh, if you're using Ayaka or Ganyu, like you can use them on field when Hu Tao is in CD. 
so whenever you know who's out you're done with who tower charge stacks and stuff like that you can switch to whoever cryo character you have and deal damage with them so the whole time you're dealing damage if you're using who's out with ayaka you can also add kazuha and bennett to make a really strong team so in this team basically you have to use ayaka's ult first and then switch to hu Tao. so hu Tao will be applying pyro and basically melting i think it's gonna be ayaka's burst i'll be melting after a while basically you want to use hu Tao and ayaka together when ayaka ults you have to switch to hu Tao. and after hu Tao is done you can switch to ayaka again for normal attacks because hu Tao is right now on cd and that's about it for the cryo teams and next up are the version teams for hu Tao, which actually do somehow work so basically you'll use hu Tao, then sinchu then a dendro character that probably someone like nahida and the fourth character should be a Hydra character like Yilan. The thing is, for Hu Tao version teams, uh, you can't really switch the Hydra or uh, Dendro character for someone else. Like here, Yilan is a really good character instead of Kokomi. Because first of all, Kokomi heals, which you don't want for Hu Tao. And secondly, Yilan's Hydra application is really, really good. You need a lot of Hydra application uh, for it to work properly. Because if you don't have enough Hydra application, the burning status will ruin Hu Tao's wave and you're gonna get a lot of hits without vaporize and that's gonna lower your damage by a lot that's the thing with kokomi as you can see some attacks are not vaporizing and that's because it doesn't have enough hydro application and the same goes for the dendro character where if you don't use nahida and you use someone like kali or the dendro traveler the thing is even though they're good dendro applicators they can't really heal your team now you, you might be saying like oh, even nahida can you're, you're right about that but nahida can use pearl type amber and so if you give her that weapon, she can heal your team. And that's good enough for Hu Tao. Because the reason why healing is so important in this team is because if you don't have healing or if you don't have shields, then Hu Tao is going to die really, really quickly. Persian deals a lot of damage to your main character. And that's why you need, you know, a healer. You might say you should use Yao Yao. And yes, Yao Yao will work here. But the thing is, her dungeon application isn't good enough uh, for Bloom at least. And so either way, it just doesn't really work. So you need Yelan and Nahida. If you have them both, then sure, go ahead. I'm not saying that you can't use this version team if you don't have Yelan and, um, you know, Nahida. Healing is the biggest problem. I guess it's fine, maybe if you have Kokomi as one of your, your Hydra characters. But yeah, Yelan is so much better. Or you could also, you know, have a, uh, an Anima character and have Nahida. There are a few things you can do, but the best team you can go with is Hu Tao, Sinshu, ne uh, Yelan, and Nahida. That team... Uh, works the best and also another thing uh, is that uh most of us use the dragon spain for you know for a weapon and that's why it's actually really good this team because you already have uh two to three hundred em already on hu Tao, so you can deal i think about seventeen thousand plus damage each seed if you're doing version so yeah it can be pretty good finally overload teams there are many variants which are all pretty similar honestly overload teams aren't my favorite and i personally think you shouldn't go for them and instead go for the wave or melt teams but if you really wanted to you can uh like for example there's a team with raiden shogun and hu Tao. that team is really good you can use that um or there's a team with hu Tao, sinchu zhongli uh and an electro character that's also pretty good or hu Tao, sinchu official and beidou uh and there's a team with hu Tao, a zhongling and two other electro characters again there are many many variants and i don't think there's a huge difference between them they're all pretty similar uh, so you can choose whichever you like if you have the characters for it then you can go for it when you're making an overload team make sure you have a shielder preferably zhongli uh, if you have zhongli overload teams are way better because you don't get knocked around it's like sometimes you do get knocked around and even your enemies cannot get, get knocked around which is kind of annoying uh, but still it's a decent team if you want to use it uh, that's about it for all the teams that I could think of if I've missed anything check the pinned comment if any and if you have any questions Please let me know. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Anyways, that's all. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.